Aldi from Kenyan Reacts back again with another video. I want to welcome you to our new video today. And we're going to do a video on the top 10 best food, you know, food around the world from the streets. So with no further ado, let's get this done. This Lois is my new food, food truck. You know, when visiting other countries, street yeah, food is one of the easiest so and cheapest them, ways to get a taste of them. as many traditional yeah, food recipes. items as possible. For all we you foodies out there, the we've beans, put together a list of know, the top 10 best tastes. street foods around you know, the world. Are you hungry? You want to come food? and do jerk some chicken tests in Jamaica. For you for the only jerk yeah. around here is the spicy like marinade on this Jamaican boy, chicken. The next time you're I, in Jamaica, don't spend your entire vacation drinking your trouble away at your all-inclusive resort. Granted, that does oh. sound amazing, but you'll be missing out on a fantastic cultural Damn, and culinary can, experience. On the streets of Jamaica, you'll the find wings, several wings, jerk wings, huts. Wings. That is, places where you can purchase their world-famous oh. jerk chicken. This chicken gets its name from the process through which it is prepared. Jerking the chicken, essentially poking it with a sharp object, now put it down before you poke somebody's eye out. makes it extraordinarily Ew. flavorful. Slowly this flavor so is further enhanced oh, by a sweet yeah, and spicy yeah, yeah, marinade. Yeah, this I method of cooking like is what gives taste. jerk chicken the yeah. smoky taste that has people from all over the world swarming <laughs> to get their hands on some. I need, I need it, it too, now. baby. Churros in Spain. Ah, churros. Churros. Oh, sure, churros are a street food staple, staple food. but the ones you can buy on the streets of America don't hold a candle to the ones you can oh. get in Spain. If you've never had the pleasure of eating a churro, a churro before, churro, this churro, delicious churro. Spanish dessert is a fried chew pastry. Think fried Whoa. donut stick How that is sprinkled with sugar. If for some reason you're someday. still not convinced, they're typically Ooh. served with melted chocolate, oh, which can be drizzled over them or come on the side for dipping. Churros originated as a snack food, making it acceptable churros. to eat them at any time of day. Baby, you sold me. The history of the churro is a <laughs> bit of a mystery. Some say that they originated in China and were brought to Portugal, after which they arrived in Spain, where they gained their now iconic star shape. Others claim that it was created Spanish by Spanish shepherds who China. didn't have access so to fresh pastries made churros. at bakeries, but could easily Go make churros church. themselves. Either way, we're very happy that churros came to be because oh. there's no question that they're one of the best street foods Don't in the world. Mom, churros are good for you. Really? They're ethnic. Currywurst in Germany. I don't know why you call it worst. It's the best. <laughs> If there is one food Germany is famous for, it's probably sausage. So it's no surprise that that's what the country is making this list for. Currywurst is prepared with pork sausages. Pork sausage. As you may have gathered I from the name, there's quite a bit of curry involved in currywurst. So if that's not your thing, maybe <laughs> skip this one. However, if you're a fan of curry, oh. you'll probably love this dish because the sausage is covered with both Lucia curry ketchup Lucia and Lucia curry powder. Depending on where you buy it, oh the God. sausage may be served whole or sliced into smaller pieces. Currywurst usually oh. comes with a serving of fries, which we can all agree makes everything better. This street food was first created in 1949, and since then it has become hugely popular, with approximately 800 million currywursts being eaten in Germany each year. That's a lot. Calzone, calzone Italy. in Italy. Pizza is your grandfather's calzone. <laughs> this pizza. food item originated in Naples, which also happens to be the birthplace of really everyone's nice. favorite it's meal, the that. thin crust pizza. The this Naples. fact is no coincidence, the since calzones the are, in the theory, orange. basically just folded pizza. over pizzas. However, the experiences of eating these two meals oh. are different enough that they are Me not try. as interchangeable as they may seem. We order calzones, cut them open, oh. eat them like pizza. The crust of a calzone is made with a salted bread dough, and the fillings vary from region to region. Inside, you'll typically find cheese, such as mozzarella, ricotta, parmesan, or a combination of all three. The calzones you buy from street vendors are significantly smaller than the ones you would get in a restaurant, making them much easier to eat as you go about your day. This is a pretty important criteria for street food to meet, especially if you're a tourist and have a busy schedule. This way, you can enjoy amazing food native to the country you're visiting without sacrificing any of your sightseeing time. Oh, well, that's very convenient. Baklava in Turkey. And now all I like is baklava.
If you find yourself in Turkey, don't miss yeah, out yeah, on yeah, baklava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Find yourself a street vendor and give yourself the well, sugar rush of a lifetime. Baklava. If you've never had a baklava before, you're in for a real treat here. Made of several fine layers of pastry and garnished with sweetener, usually syrup or honey, it makes for one of the most incredible yeah. desserts you will ever taste. This food item is an almost universal crowd pleaser. Very few people who taste it don't love it. Don't forget to explore the Turkish food scene beyond baklava because there are many other unsung street foods that you'll probably end up loving. From desserts to snacks to full meals, there's so much to explore. So get out there and immerse yourself in culture one food at a time. You're going to see the world and experience new cultures. Euros in Greece. Euros. Ooh. Euros can be found in food courts everywhere, but you don't know what you're missing until you've tried the real thing. And that's saying a lot because the American gyro tastes pretty incredible. The word gyro refers to the way the meat is prepared. The meat, which is usually either lamb, chicken, or beef, is cooked on a vertical rotisserie. It's sliced directly off the rotisserie to be served when you place your order. Rotisserie style. It can be seasoned with pretty much every spice you can imagine, from garlic powder and oregano to cinnamon and cumin. The meat of your choosing is then wrapped in a delicious doughy pita and topped with tomato, onions, and lots of tzatziki sauce. Euros make for a pretty filling meal, which is ideal when you're a tourist, as they'll keep you satisfied as you go about your busy day, or lazy day of lounging by the beach, whichever you prefer. I suggest the latter. Poutine in Canada. Whip up a quick poutine, you're taking over Canada. Nothing quite beats a hot poutine at 3 in the morning after a night out on Montreal's St. Laurent Boulevard. While it can be found all over Canada, it's safe to say that the province of Quebec is the place to be if you're craving a poutine. There have been many, many variations of this Canadian dish. However, the fact of the matter is that the plain old original poutine will forever be the favorite. It's not often Often that you're no further than a stone's throw away from a greasy spoon where you can get your poutine fix for a reasonable price. Who wants a poutine? I do. I do. Okay. Traditionally, poutine includes French fries, cheese curds, and a whole lot of gravy. There's a reason this greasy dish is the perfect way to end a night of drinking. However, it's also a favorite meal for sporting events, movies, and casual hangouts with friends. Like a lot of the entries on this list, poutine doesn't really make for a nutrient-dense, well-balanced meal, but eating street food is really about experiencing culture, trying new things, and bonding with others over food. It gives you the chance to bond, relax, reconnect. Arepas in Colombia. I brought my world-famous arepas. In Colombia, it's acceptable to enjoy arepas no matter the time of day. Made of maize dough, arepas are flat, round breads that can be served with a variety of different toppings, including meat, cheese, and avocado. It can be cut to form a sandwich or simply eaten with the accompaniments on top. This dish has a rich history, as it originated nearly 3,000 years ago in northern South America. South America? South America. An area that is today split into Colombia and Venezuela. Venezuela. The recipe and method of preparation has changed very little since its conception, making it one of the oldest native dishes in the country. As such, the arepa is considered arepa an important arepa piece arepa of the arepa Colombian arepa heritage. In fact, there is actually a festival in its honor. From the months of August to December, each of five major Colombian cities takes a turn organizing its own celebration for what is oh, called so the Colombian Arepa Festival. When in Colombia, absolutely five, try to get your hands on this delectable food item. And if you're there when the festival is running, all the better. What better way to immerse yourself yeah. into a new culture? Come on, babe, get on the bike. I've got a plane waiting for us. Palm frites in Belgium. Belgium. French fry is good, but palm frites. Even though it's what it sounds like, palm frites are not fried apples. Although that actually doesn't sound horrible. No, palm frites are in fact Yay. french fries. But they're not just any french fries, they're fried french twice. Fries, it makes fries, sense that Belgium fries. would be home to some of the world's best fries, Ooh. as it may actually be their birthplace. That title is up for debate, as France would like to claim it for itself as well. Regardless, the Belgians have been making fries for a very long time, 
and they've gotten very good at it. Practice makes perfect, Bobby. To make the experience even more enjoyable, street vendors will offer you several options of condiments. There's the traditional ketchup and mayonnaise, but if you're feeling adventurous, you can dabble with some of the Belgian sauces provided. If you try a different sauce each time, it will always be a new experience. That way, you'll never get bored of pommes frites. Not that anyone has ever gotten tired of fries before, but you get the idea. Be warned, these fries are served fresh, so they're quite hot. It's an objective fact that fries taste better when they're hot and fresh, but just don't dig in with too much gusto or yeah, risk yeah, burning yeah. yourself. It's really difficult to be patient, especially so when it comes to fries, since waiting for them to cool fries. down is wasting valuable time that could be spent, well, enjoying yeah, said fries. Salt you salt may salt end up with a salt bit salt of a burned salt. tongue, but it'll have been totally worth it. Uh, no pain, no gain, right? Hot dog Hot in the United dog States. The Hot dogs are getting cold. Ooh. Hot dogs? How could we go an entire MCV. video about street food without mentioning the American oh, hot dog? Me. Every movie or television show the set in MCV. New York City will show one of the characters buying a hot dog Aww. from a street vendor at some point. It's they inevitable. MCV. Hot dogs get a lot of hate, but if they're made right, they can make for a delicious meal. Mm. Why is it so delicious? It's really the toppings that make the hot dog. The no. option are Absolutely. endless. There's your classics, ketchup, mustard, and relish, but there's also cheese, chili, and uh, cabbage. Yeah. Regardless of your taste, pretty much everyone can find a garnish they enjoy. Hot dogs are the staple foods of county fairs and sporting events, but they also make for a convenient meal for anyone on the go. Hot dog vendors are especially prominent in big cities like Detroit, Chicago, and New York. Whether you're in the city for pleasure or business, you might find yourself in a hurry, and hot dogs are the perfect way to get a meal in while still having time to accomplish everything on your to-do list. Additionally, maybe it's because they bring Back memories yeah, of barbecues, they but there's something about hot dogs that elicits feelings of summertime. Oh. Celebrate the arrival of warm weather by rounding up a group of friends and going to enjoy some of this amazing street food. You can carry your food with you as it you explore great. the city, or you can find a park bench and simply sit and talk. Oh. Either way, there's nothing better. Best day of my life. Stay right here. And so basically we have seen the top 10 best street foods how they are prepared how people are reacting after tasting them and so i'd really like to visit such cities and have a taste of the street foods because damn they are looking so tasty and yummy thanks for watching our video Hope you're going to meet in the next one. Please like, subscribe, and leave your comment down there. See you next time. Bye.